video time for Grandpa's old tractor. I'm going to have a little update. Um, okay, so last time, uh, not sure if I remember or not, if uh, I told everybody I did manage to get the engine freed up. It was locked up, and uh, I soaked it and uh, got in to the starter or the uh, flywheel area and uh, managed to rock the engine back and forth to get the rings to break loose and they did. Um, I've done a compression test already on it to make sure that the old engine's still in halfway decent shape. I got some pretty low numbers which means it's not going to run very good at all but I think maybe it's because it's been sitting so long and it's probably the valves not seating. At least we didn't have any dead holes. Uh, anyway, so I've been soaking the engine more, and uh, the whole thing doing a compression test is you got to be able to spin this engine over, and uh, the old starter has not been wanting to uh, cooperate very well, so I've been fighting with it. I ended up completely pulling it apart the other day and cleaning all the, uh, the brushes and armature, and I got it working fairly decent for now. Um, starter Bendix is hanging up, but eh. That's a lot cheaper than just than the whole starter. So um, anyway, so I didn't know if anybody's curious to see how you do a compression test, but uh, right here we got the uh, test gauge, screws into a spark plug hole, and uh, basically just crank the engine over three or four times, and uh, it'll give you a reading. We want to see those readings 90 and up. 90 to 110 would be beautiful on all four, but I had like 50 the other day. That's not good at all. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's give it a shot. Yep, starter's acting up again. Um, let me see if it's just a... Connection. We got about 55 so I don't know this old motor might be hurting bad I'm gonna keep pedaling with it but we'll see if uh, we can't get those valves to try and seat otherwise I'm gonna have to pull it apart I don't want to have to do it but uh, it's a lot of sentimental attachment to this old tractor so regardless it's gonna live um, it's just to what extreme am I going to have to go to get it back to life. But uh, that's where we're at right now. Still got the front end apart. Uh, had to order some wheel bearings. The old ones were shot. They were uh, literally falling apart. Had one wheel just about to fall off the tractor. It was crazy. It was so loose. But I guess it's a 70-year-old bearing. It's... We're fortunate that you get that many years out of it, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get her, uh, we'll get her going. Bye for now.